Welcome back! I'm Hogziller. This is part 7 of the Airport Tycoon, Air Mogul, Airport Incorporated uh, playthrough. So where we left off in part 6 is we took our cargo airport, put in its largest runway, filled that up pretty much instantaneously, and we're hopping into the last aspect of of this airport um i don't know if i'll take this all the way to the last item um the last like new item that you can really add to this airport that doesn't exist in one form or another already is you can have like a play area for kids and a prayer room and that happens um prayer room in 1988 and the play area in 1991 um, else after that, there's more police, infirmaries, statues, and stuff that already exists. It's just bigger and has more in it. So, we'll see what happens in Part 7 here. But what we want to focus with in this part is getting our airport terminal set up and building that final runway and um, getting some passengers in. So... I have already slowed down the game to its slowest speed possible. Uh, what I want to do is first get my railroad working. I don't know if, yeah, it does allow this. I can't remember if they allowed unconnected or not, um, but it does. So let's go ahead and I'm bumping up against the bar up here once again. Let's go ahead and get our graphic detail back to low, just because that's starting to annoy me a little bit. Okay, so we have our train in. Let's go ahead and get our correct parking. So let's draw a road. All the way down. We got our taxi in there, so let's just go ahead and get that road put in. I don't know if I want to do the short stay next or let's do the long stay. Um, let's see here. You will get a message that you don't have enough long stay, I believe, if it's filled. We'll build in a couple gravel. Whoops. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be the first of many, 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 many misclicks. And this is why I almost was going to go with a prefab, but the and then just kind of like add on to the prefab. But I decided I want some nice large areas. To work with. And you're going to see that message a lot. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, short stay. We have the short stay, which oddly enough, like short stay is like a requirement of some contracts. If you want them to handle passengers, like you'll fail contracts on it. So, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and 
see. Okay, we need bus stops. Which is another reason I failed a contract in the past. And you will get annoying messages throughout saying, You don't have enough bus stops. Passengers are complaining. Okay, so we have the bus stop. We have that. Okay, good, good. Um, I think we got everything on the outside we need. Let's hop inside. Um, I think you can go pretty far back here. Let's get into medium mode. What I think we're going to do is we're going to build the retail first. And that's going to cause some contracts to come in, but... Okay, so we have a nice big retail area. We'll have the door like over here. And then the gates will be like over here. See, that's another thing. When you build the terminal, that's a nice little message. It can get a little annoying after a while, but they build a nice message like overhead announcement thing that you would normally hear at the airport um I always thought it was nice it was something different uh let's see here where do we want to build for okay so we have that. And this is where you actually gotta be a little careful with this game. Um, no, 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 no. Get that out of there. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to build a security area. Uh, let's see here. A security area that will eventually flow into a nice check-in area. Um, so let's see here. We want a nice check-in area. So we want it here and here, here and here. So what the the thing you gotta watch out for when building. Uh, I'm just gonna turn down the game a little bit. So one thing you gotta watch out for in this game is if you build an area from the outside that connects. To a gate area which I'll build here sometime and you don't have security in between the game will say passenger was able to elude security and get on plane or something like that and your reputation takes a big hit so just something to keep an eye out for So let's go ahead and build our gate area. I don't know exactly how I'm going to lay everything out just yet, but we definitely don't want to open up the runways just yet. Um, Um, let's see here. 
everyone goes through security so we can we can build something up here we need to build a baggage area uh what else do we have to build this is actually like a very tedious portion um let's see here we gotta do the toilets anyway um another very this is just completely tedious um So, what we will do here, build a baggage. And another air message you can get in this game that really annoys me is you can get, like, there is not enough toilets in your airport. Like, oh, come on, really? You really going to go there? So, we need an information area which we will build I think we'll build that here I don't do that many um, that many passenger airports and I know you're probably saying at this point no kidding uh, but It just, they're so tedious for custom and the like the prefab ones aren't laid out ideal either maybe the one that's the big U shape is okay and then maybe you add on like a retail area to it um, but okay so we have VIP lounge and then there'll be stuff later um, So let's go ahead and get some doors on these things. I'm not going to go crazy here on stuff. I'm going to try and get every airport their own um, check-in desk, one or two tops. And I'm going to get a lot of messages yelling at me for queue length. But I'm not looking to make the most grandest airport ever. Uh, during this so let's go ahead and get some passport desks in whoa I zoomed in a little too close you could build it however you want but with me I like to build everything perfectly or at least close to perfect so I am going to, the only thing I'm really going to go crazy on here to make sure it's correct is um, are the metal detectors and x-ray machines because those are key. Yep, we have officially entered the I really don't care phase of this. Um, man, man, oh man. Um, I wonder if I can pop that. And now... Build a whole bunch... That's another thing, you can't like build in the corridors which is just another annoying thing
put that door back in. Just because I don't want to be trapped. Luckily, you're able to like quick click through this. Oh man, I I know there was a trick I had at one time for building this. Then like I only had it go out like one exit, I think, to the right. Uh, but apparently I have forgotten that completely. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next most tedious thing in this game. Um, the check-in area. Let's get some seats in here. Let's get a service desk or two, even though... So I know in like one of my other videos, I mentioned that the service desks can be dedicated. Um, don't see that actually there, but I think if we right click here, it says, some airlines will insist that you have service desks. I must have misinterpreted that as dedicated service desks. Um, Let's see here. Let's get a drinking fountain. Fire extinguisher. This is another thing I think they yell at you about is enough information monitors. I mean, in the past, I've really meticulously designed these, uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're not going to do that. We'll build just a couple phones, add a, a Tadnoy. Okay, um, what else before, oh, yeah, vending machines and, oh, yes. Let's see how many we can get in a, a small little compressed area here. I guess I'm not going for beauty points. Here. Okay. Um, oh yeah, baggage. Baggage carts. These I do want because if you were to misclick and misalign these, they just take up a, a lot more room than you are willing to accept. So, hopefully after this and the uh, service counters, we can just quick place everything else, add some jetways, and be on our way for the purposes of this video. But like I said, very tedious clicking here. Okay. Um, I'm sure that's not enough baggage areas, but at this point, I don't care. So, let's go ahead and put one of these in. Um, 
Okay. What I think I want to do here is, I don't know if I want to make like a list, make a paper list. And I'll just pause it here for a second and make a paper list and cross off each one I've done just to make sure that I don't miss one. So let me see here. Let me make a paper list. Okay, so I have my list written down here. Let's go ahead and build a whole bunch of check-in desks. What I want to do is I want to make sure I have one for each. And then after that, I'm just going to build a whole bunch of free-form desks. In random spots. That line is not straight. But I don't care because we're eventually just going to random fill this after I... ...put each one of these in. Okay. Let's Air Belgium. Just another like tedious task. Honestly, that in my opinion, this is like one of the most difficult and frustrating parts of this game. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to this is getting made worse by the graphic quality it's a little better this way this would not be as bad if as you're going to see here in a minute if I didn't have to scroll down every time This is one of those things that just gets worse and worse as you have to go down and down. Um, so. Um, let's see here. We have to go with Air Austria next. And then we have to go with Vol Voltaire Vista or Visti, not sure how some of these are pronounced, but then we have Portier and Air Windsor is after that. Alder. Air Finland. Is that the last one? Yeah. Now let's start down here. Then we have Emerald. And 
then after that we have the Italian air. Can't remember if this Air Swiss is one that needs it. So let's just look at their contract quick. Just cargo. So then. Donahue, or that's not Donahue, Don, Don, Donye? Okay, we got North American Air, Air Loof. The only thing is, is once you get to the end, you can pretty much race to the end. Let's see, we want Air America is next. Then we got Viking, and that, I might have missed one in there, but frankly, at this point, I don't care. So, let's go ahead and... Go back into here. And I kid you not, you're going to want to have this many check-in desks. And even at this, I'm fairly sure I'm not going to have enough. They're going to say, long queues outside general check-in desks. And I will expect that definitely on the dedicated one because I only gave them one each. I mean, I've given, like, Holland Air and Dutch Air, in this case, like, 20 each. Even more than that, I think I gave them 30 on one airport, and it still said, long queue lines at... Because it's all based... On this number here, this efficiency number. And if it drops even to 99%, then you get that message. So let's go ahead, let's race through this, get some carousels in here. Get some baggage carts. Uh, let's get some Bathroom stuff in here. I usually like to get those right up against the wall, but in this case, I don't care. Like, I've spent time trying to get these bathroom stalls all lined up perfectly. It's just, it's a lot of tedious work. Okay, that's enough there. Here, let's just get some benches. Let's get some benches in here. Trying to remember, is there anything important? Oh yeah, let's get a... That's the most important thing, is the fish tank. Um, let's get some information monitors. Phones, let's get some phones. Some nice free-floating phones. Go ahead and get fire extinguisher. 
uh, information desk. I am not going to mess with the rest of that stuff. Here, let's get some couches. Some hospitality bars. Some tables. Some fish tanks. Some monitors, bones, that's enough there. Okay, let's go ahead and allow people to get into this gate area. Okay. You would get the message right away that there's a security loop right away. You take the uh, the uh, customer satisfaction hit right away. Let's just get a block of seats in here. Um, yeah, so that is building. Building your... internal part of the airport so now what I'm doing is I'm just building some jet ways because I'm sure some airports want that and I could design this in a way that you can maximize it like you kind of saw the kind of the spider crawl out design but that's not my objective here my objective right now is to just build this probably a plane maintain and a turnaround and let's open this thing up for oh build another runway and then open it up for passengers So we're just putting in our taxiway. This very long taxiway. Okay, so now let's put in one cargo. Let's put in this. And let's head back up towards our first runway and we need the turnaround three here. And we will head over to our other little plane stand area and add our turnaround there too. So I have the terminal built, I have all the turnarounds, I have my jetways added. Oh, yeah, we got to add... One more plane. And here we will. I'm 
not sure exactly what I want to do here, but we will add. We'll add it like this. I'm sure no planes are even going to want to come around this way because it's so far away. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's turn up the speed a little bit here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can create. Um, actually, let's see what kind of contract we have first. What do we have here? Turnaround time was too short. Hotels, no failed. Um, I always try and do one renegotiation with business contracts within the airport, but unlike the master contracts for airlines, they can, these um, internal to the air uh, terminal contracts can fail negotiations after one renegotiation. I'd say about 75% come back with a second rate, and you can even get uh, another rate after that. But um, we'll have to see what happens here. And now we're going to turn this up on speed. Um, once we get a couple contracts in there and I make sure that this runway isn't screwed up in some way, I think um, I'm going to add the fourth runway. Um, from there... Are the cars coming in yet? I don't know if I've excited. I don't think I've. Oh, I see some taxis coming in. I should probably change this to medium for just a little bit so you can see the whole road. I just don't know why this game ain't playing smooth on medium. I just think I might have some kind of setting on the computer incorrect. But let's go ahead. Let's check some contracts out. I always want to start here. Oh, passengers and cargo. Oh, uh, something bad happened. It conflicted with some runway, airline, flight, something or other. Or, uh, what was that? Has been granted a flight contra contract award. I must have, oh, okay. I forgot about that award that once you get a certain number of flight contracts, you can get um, you can get recognized for that. So here's the deal with this. I've never been too good at placing this stuff. I used to be like a two clicker, two right clicker. By right clicking, you can reposition the walls within this. But I'm just going to not right click and always start in the upper left hand corner and work across the row, work across the row and see what I can get done. I can't remember, but I do remember that the little ones do get their own row because they don't fit, obviously. Let's see if we get any big restaurants. I know there's like a restaurant that takes up a whole bunch of tiles. Yep, here's a, the Hangers restaurant. But they don't like being placed next to each other. They say that they're each other taking their own business away. And there's conflicts. Sometimes they'll leave your airport even. Oh, let's reopen the runways. That's why the planes weren't coming in. And this is what I was referring to. There are queues at the Dutch Airline check-in desks. And even if I would have made 20 Dutch Airline check-in desks, there still would have been queues. I mean, I'll show you what I'm talking about for their... Here we go. 24% efficiency. So I could come here. I could take this. I can make this Dutch Air. Make this Dutch Air. 
it'll help a little bit, I think. Now we're up to 81%. 24%. Oh, man, man, oh, man. They can regret. I got burned hard. I always thought they came back okay, usually. Uh, passenger and cargo, very good. I always check for Petro and Hotel. I think we could get one or two. Um, when I put in this last runway here, I just want to get a few shops in. Because uh, it's going to go off the hook here in a second. And I bet you any money that was uh, a comment that it was placed too close to the other items. Yep. Placed or adversely affecting their business. Well, I've never tried to figure out how close and how far away. I mean, I'm making enough money. By the time I'm doing this, I'm making enough money as it is. This is like icing on the, the top. Um, one thing I'm hoping that'll happen when I um, when I put in this fourth runway is that we get a hub contract. Now I haven't touched on this yet. Um, it usually only happens when I do my Amsterdam airport that I get a hub contract from Dutch Air or Holland Air and they basically say that they they will base out of your airport and if if you accept we'll give you a whole bunch of flights but we expect higher standards from you well I've never gotten burned by it so I don't know what they mean by higher standards um, but, um, it, they'll show up in blue under airline contracts, if I remember correctly, and hopefully we might get one. Um, they usually come later in the game, if you have a terminal and cargo airports. I did get one once real early in the game. I must have did, like, both early on just to see if I could do it. Um, but that's the deal there. Okay, so we got these little transport buses. What these red buses do is they take the passenger from the uh, parking lots and, and get them to the um, entrance, the terminal entrance. I'll just cover. Here's going to be one. Maybe it was 75%. 25% the other way where but when you're only getting like $34 to the $100 I mean it doesn't pay and if I can get an initial contract I mean it would be more beneficial if I was just starting out the airport but if you're just starting out the airport and you're going to do passenger Odds are you're going to be starting with prefab one, more than likely. Or building your own, and you're going to be trying to squeeze out every space to make that terminal as cheap as possible. And you're probably only going to do single story. Here's, the, here's where I think I do the double right click. I can't remember. Well... Either I'm going to make this mistake, and we'll find out later. I didn't have any other... Sometimes if there's a petrol or hotel and you don't recognize it, it'll stay there, and you're like, well, why isn't this hopping back to your airport? Oh, yeah. 
Um, so the red takes them to the um, the terminal entrance. Taxis go to the terminal entrance. The bus will take people from the bus stops I have littered throughout and take them to the terminal entrance. Short stay park. Cars will drive in. If I do it just right, I think I can see inside. You can actually see inside of a, a short stay park and actually see if the cars will either go in or they'll just turn around if it's full so we just gotta watch for that um how are we doing over here did any planes decide to make oh end of the year ground rent so ground rent is up 100% because now I am charging um I believe that's for um, for the shops in my terminal. Unless it's under something else here. Short stay, minimal, uh, long stay. You can see we got stuff in here now. I don't understand what it takes to populate the cleaning and turnaround. I've never gotten this number to put up populate i don't know if it's just like something that the developers put into the game were planning to do and then they just ran out of time at the last second and didn't have time to even pull the code out um but i've never been able to make any money on this so i don't know what cleaning and turnaround does i obviously know it has something to do with the turnaround station but not sure And there's queues. I bet you my uh, customer satisfaction took a hit. Yeah. See, this is the penalty you pay for doing passengers. You just, you, you take such a bad hit. Like, I just don't know if I need to build, like, one of the world's biggest check-in areas or what. But, um... I took a big customer satisfaction hit there. Um, 24 down to 17. No planes, no hotel, no petrol. Okay, we're going to do this round of business contracts. And then we're going to create the new runway. One thing I do like is that the clock stops while you place these. Ah, oh, I should have. Before I do another contract, I am going to put my. What did I get here? Subway area. Oh yes, fun, fun subway area. Um. That reminds me. Then I need to slow it down. Build a subway area. Build security in between the subway and the gates so that um, you don't get hit with a... That route is a violation of secure airports. And Actually, they're paying pretty good already. Um, now let's slow the game down here. Because you can only build the subway area, obviously, on the first floor. Is there any regular? Yep, some regular cars are finally coming in and parking. Um, let's get a. Oh wow, I forgot to put a door here, but uh, let's go ahead and. I 
I forgot how I want to do this. Do I want to build it like over here and then over here? And there's queues at the Dutch air check-in desks. I think you want to have the bar at the bottom here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get a doorway in there. And let's go ahead and get a bunch of security items into the security area. Oh, come on. That's the only benefit I like with prefab terminals is they got all this stuff covered. Let's go ahead and fire extinguisher. Let's build one of those. I know. It says we're not going for looks here. This is what always bugs me, is... Now let's get, because there'll be complaints about not enough x-ray machine. We have plenty of x ray machines. Um, so we got that. Now let's build the subway area. We don't need much for the subway area. Whoops, I did not select my pick at this area. Stairs. Um, ticket machine. Doorway. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder if I just build the subway area out. We need to build it out into security. Um, we almost ended up with, thank God that didn't work actually, because we almost ended up with a, a security violation. Um, and then build it like this, and then build the door up here. There we go. Okay, um, let's go ahead and build our other runway. How are we doing here? Is anything coming down this run 
or taxiway. Yeah, if I had to build it different with my knowledge, I know now. I hadn't played this game in a while. Um, I used to play it all the time, kind of as a filler game, but... Okay, we're on slow mode. Um, we'll connect. We'll connect through here, I think. What can we get away with here, building? Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Okay. That didn't take long for a contract to come in, I think. Um, so we need... Control tower. I bet you we're going to get dinged on admin. Let's make the runway cautious. How did we do that now? Did we? We built it right along the edge and then out. Hopefully, this bears good results. Oh, I missed the click there. Okay. So now, let's... Build our kind of ways out and across. There's our typical shops are complaining. This is why I just don't like passenger. If I stuck with the solid cargo through this thing, I'd have a 1,000 customer satisfaction rating. So I think how we do this... We do this... Then Okay.
Yeah, I always like a, oh, that would be in the flight path. Well, it's just concrete blocks. Why would that be in the flight path? Let's see where the... Now, let's put our apron back down. I think we're just going to go and buy another admin quick here. Okay. Now, put down your taxiway. Take your apron away. Um, oh yeah, you gotta get them in the corner here. So, I should have enough. Oh, we did not build our corners here. Oh, the very tedious... Okay, now I think we can let this just go. Let's get that extra admin in there. Yeah, our customer satisfaction is down so much. Now we're not getting the contracts flying in. I should have probably waited. We got some flights in on on the new runway. We'll have to see. See how they come in and where they want to go for plane stand. One more contract here. These are all renegotiated contracts. Uh, you can just tell my reputation is just taking a big hit through all those queues. Um, and that's the. Uh, hey, there we go. Even got a new master contract. Uh, I want a hotel. I was hoping to have a hotel and a petro station, but. So that cost 168 million to build that terminal. Oh yeah. Oh, well, see, yeah, there's turning around in there right now. So let's go ahead and.
Okay, and hopefully we don't get a traffic jam. If I do, I might have to space them out. I have seen that before. Uh, let's see here. We did get a master contract in. When my reputation has been better and I build that last runway, I've gotten it where I just get a whole bunch of... How are we doing here? Okay, there's no red. The plane stands. There's a nice big plane. Let's see where it goes. Airport maintained four and cold storage two. So we're just going to build one cold storage here. And one airport maintained. I'm just, normally I'd strategically place these a little better, but coming to the end here of this seven part series on Airport Tycoon. Air Mogul, Airline, or Airport Incorporated, whatever this game wants to call itself. It looks like it's going to use... Is it going to? Nope. It made the turn. Just curious how it's going to negotiate this uh, in-betweener. But... So, a couple things that I'm not going to cover in this video, I'll talk about here. I didn't get the hub contract like I was hoping. Um, we should have also gotten a large control tower at some point here, according to my notes. But maybe I misremembered that. Yeah, I must have. There will be an infirmary sometime here I think I'm gonna add that and that just might be it because um, after it it's really another spectator area another turnaround area the only thing is new that are is a prayer room and a kids play area room else everything is uh, um, upgrades to existing um, existing infrastructure I wonder if I should build right across here build here build here build here build here and then you're going to have to build here. Uh, we don't need to actually do that. I don't think. and some curves there curves there I wonder if that's my large control tower or something else large control tower and infirmary uh, so let's go ahead and get the infirmary in here I just don't remember if it's... Yep. And... Like, I've tried in the past just, like, placing the control tower. 
Oh yeah, too many control towers. Um, um, I've tried placing the control tower like out in the middle or a couple of them. But then it says that uh, the control tower is inefficient and it only runs like at 149% or whatever. You'll see here when I do this. And it runs at 150. It'll be like at 149%. And I just don't know why. But let's get these last two in here. Let's get them marked cautious. And see, I don't have the contracts coming in. I think I'm really taking a hit on the... Uh, I'm really taking a hit on the customer satisfaction right now. Um... Which really is not good. I missed a, a curve out right there. I'm trying to figure out what it's... Oh, because a plane's coming in here. Let's see what this path this plane takes is. Don't go all the way down. This is... Ah, oh, this makes me angry. I mean... It's probably going to turn here or else the plane would have uh, went all the way down. I guess I have to work on this a little more. What are we waiting on here? Anything? I'll see me. Well, we're getting some passengers in. And I know there's a point where you have too many contracts. Like, I don't know, maybe 300, 309 is the maximum number of contracts. Because I think I remember something where you can't fill up this last runway. And what I used to do then is... Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to use the new little shortcut I built here um, but if I got rid of flights from runway one then I would delete that runway and just run off of three runways um, let's go ahead and just may get rid of some uh, runway one renewals and just see what happens Yeah, sure enough. I bet you I've topped out on the number of contracts. It's just, this is coming back to me now that you can only have so many contracts and that's, that's what's happening here. So, let's go ahead and get rid of. But. I think for now, uh, that is about it. And that covers my playthrough of Airport Tycoon, Air Mogul, Airport Incorporated. If you want to see additional videos on this subject, I'd be more than happy to keep playing this. Make a part 8, part 9, if there's uh, enough want for it. Um, so drop a like on the videos. If you have a question or comment, um, then write me a note down below. I think we'll wrap it up here for now.
uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.